All right, welcome back to Harold's Second Chance. Now, if you uh, remember from last time, we <laughs> stirred up a hornet's nest here in Mercia trying to get rid of um, this fellow uh, that's been a thorn in our side for quite a time, quite a long time, sorry. Uh, the hunter of Mercia. So we're going to try to hunt him. But the real trick will be if we can join up all our forces before he raises his. So actually, it might be a better idea to just stay here. Wait, where is he? Oh, is he actually here? Yeah. So he won't be able to do that. But we'll stay in Lincoln, though, because that should let us... Uh, go here not to north not out of the way to I'm gonna go up here I think right yeah that'll be good this is one guy down here every guy every guy might count though of course the boats kind of went into a poor choice there all right let's see how many guys pop Yep, a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's see here. So they're gonna have to join up a little bit before they'll even have enough, really. I want all of you all. Whoa, who's where's this guy? You got 52, yeah, he's I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> Um, let's see here how these guys are going. Let's go ahead and assign commanders. Let's put, um, oh, is that our hunchback? Yep. I'm actually not going to lead troops just because I don't want to die accidentally here. I know it's kind of a cowardly choice, but at the same time, if I die, this is all for nothing anyway. So King Harold's got to stay out of it, unfortunately. Get you up here as soon as possible. I was just going over here. Okay, good. So there gonna merge whoops nope I want them to merge get on the boats okay this is a sizable force it'll help out a lot so how's this this troop up here is moving down these guys can get on the boats these guys should be able to get on the boats too move them down here as well Caught one of our troops here. Yep, yeah, I didn't think that would that would work out so well. Unfortunately, these English levies are so small that if they get caught out in the open, they'll just be um, murdered pretty quick. All right, so we're just find the way we are. Can't believe this 52-man unit made it. Um, it's actually kind of surprising. Yes, I don't want to select him. Trying to merge everyone into the same unit here as soon as possible. Check our uh, Norwegian reinforcements. You gotta get down. Looks like here. I don't know how he missed his ride, but let's just uh, disband him. These guys are probably not going to make it, but we'll just move them down here.
These guys are still moving, right? All right, we got... Looks like we've got... Um, have them join us in Lincoln. So he's got two 2,000 stacks. Just let this poor guy go. <laughs> he's not gonna, not gonna affect much. Although maybe that will be the one guy that would have made the difference, but now we'll never know. We are, yeah, we're losing money slowly because of all the boats and stuff. Once we get a big enough army, though, we'll, we'll take him down. Getting there. Plus, we'll siege down his uh, main holding again. Pretty close. Keep selecting. Come on, get over there. Making my life hard here. Still need this unit to go. Check back over in Norway. Let's merge these two together. Uh, apparently I can't get on the boats yet because of the weird topography or whatever here. Wait. Just stay where you are at. Can I get on the boat? Yes, I can get on the boat. All right, we're on the boats. Let's go there. We can get on the boats. Let's just disband you because you're not going to make it in time. Put you over here. All right, getting a pretty good sized army here. These are all boats, right? Let's put them in a friendly harbor and disband them so we can stop spending money on them. These we can disband. Stop charging people money. That'll give us, I think, enough numerical superiority where everything else won't matter. They're gonna join up though. We'll have one big one big fight. We have to wait for our morale to get up a little bit more though. On the boats, and then we'll get the last delivery over here. All right. Yep, so he joined up there. And once we have this, yeah. I wish I could uh, usurp it, but I can't because we're at war with him, and I wish it wouldn't uh, <laughs> give me this thing when I can't actually do it. <laughs> yeah, I want to press a uh, weak claim. All right. So we should finish our... Uh, awesome. Did that give us the... Uh, Hopefully they gave us a prestige bonus. 100 prestige, yeah. Still would like to become emperor. I guess we'll keep doing the um, province culture since that should happen uh, pretty frequently up here, especially. All right, make sure you guys are getting here. Yeah, okay, good. Those are only two armies, and we have, um, where's the other fleet? 
I guess it doesn't show that. For some reason, I thought they showed fleets. Maybe it does. I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> All right. Now I've got an 11 stack. Set them to... Uh... All right. We're all in now. And... We actually have enough to just siege this down, I think. Yep. All right. So... Now we're going to see here. I'm pretty sure all these are going to have river have river crossing everywhere. What's the terrain? The terrain is... Where do you see that? I forgot already. I guess I just look at it here. Hills, because it'll be in the hills. So there's going to be quite a defensive bonus here, but let's put our hunchback in the middle. And then... Uh, Auto balance. Well, we got a pretty good, uh, a pretty good lineup here. Should should have not much problem at all with defeating his army. Then we can split up and siege down all the uh, territories over time. Yep, he got the. Uh, Pretty good defensive bonus there. His commanders are... Well, he's got a whole empty flank there, so that's not ideal. All right, we got a uh, a daughter was born. Let's see what his other daughter's her name. Make sure there's no... Um, I don't even remember her being born. Um, nope. All right, gun hilled it is. Man, this is a pretty costly battle here. Yeah, he's going to join in. And <laughs> now he's not going to join in. <laughs> All right. So we defeated him. 80% war score will follow him to Derby. Now, now's when I'll do the old... Uh, See, he's got, um, I think he's got, yeah, we got him organizer at one point. So let's uh, make sure that he's actually leading the troops since it looked like he wasn't. I don't have my little army helmet on for some reason. Well, if Harold chase him down. <laughs> Watch him die in the combat. Oh, yep, I outran him, so I get the defensive bonus as well. Hundred percent. See what happens. So he became imprisoned. Let's go ahead and expand all of our levies, which that should make things get a little cheaper. So now this jerk that I've been basically messing with for um a long time. Oh, look, Harold can finally afford his own uh, ransom for 145 gold. We may end up taking him up on that. So this guy is the one who has essentially <laughs> gotten a lot of power. I'll probably kill him in jail. What happens if I, can I revoke titles though? He's a traitor, we will not object. See, I think I can only do one though, unfortunately. So he's got three Yarldoms. Well, Lancaster definitely doesn't look right, so let's take that one. Wait, am I, am I having to ask him to do that, or am I just revoking it? I just took it, right? Yeah, I just took it away. Now, can I take another one? I bet I can't take another one, right? Oh, they don't mind if I do, so I will. Let's take that one. 
Now, let's see. I bet this one I can't do, though. Nope. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I can take all his titles, apparently. So now he has no um, Yarlums, although he has claims on them, of course. He just has one, two, three, four, five counties, which could be problematic. <laughs> but I think I can bury him under a guy that likes me, and then I don't have to care about him anymore. Although we've got a bunch of people that hate us now. Although that's because of these duchies, which I'm about to get rid of. But the question is who to give them to. So definitely need to make sure that we bury... Um, so let's see here, Lincoln. So this is de jure part of the duchy of Lincoln. Let's see here. So he, oh good. Why does he hate me though? Oh, he's Anglo-Saxon too, damn it. Well, let me see if I can take uh, any more of his properties. I bet I can't though. Why is, <laughs> I thought there was a limit here at some point, but let's take Lincoln. Now yeah, I've got domains too big, or domain too big anyway. Our vassals will not object. Just taking them all. No, not that. <laughs> I don't understand how no one cares, but he has no titles now, so it's fine. <laughs> all right, so now we've got... Um, see here who else can we imprison uh, just this guy ah keep clicking that thing by mistake all right so I have too many titles I need to get rid of five of them let's go to this view so these are the ones I have obviously so I have this Jarldom as well do I have anybody here that likes me and these are these there you get these uh Anglo-Saxons though, unfortunately. Let's put, um, I don't really care about these. Let's give one guy both of these and then make him the, the, the Jarl. Um, so go back into our find characters mode. So search realm for men that are not in prison. They're not rulers and they're not great houses. My, my culture group, my religion group. Let's find someone who's, look at this guy. Who is he? Oh, he's got a uh, council title, I see. This guy's perfect, he's content. Um, Isle of Wight, that's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna steal him away from you by giving him, let's see here. Looks like it's Wigmore and Gloucester. All right, he's got a domain limit of weird one of seven. All right, well. This one, right? And he's, uh, now let's grant him that. <laughs> Talk about rising to power fast, huh? <laughs> um, once he gets married and everything, though, he'll be fine. So that gets rid of a couple of them. So now we have, um, these to deal with. Now, this guy does not like me, and he's Anglo-Saxon, but I'm going to, um, see here. I get rid of, uh, one, two, three. That'll take me down back to six, and I'll be fine. So, we just need to find, um, someone else, like, like the, uh, gentleman we just gave that other stuff to. So, this guy, not very good diplomacy. It'd be kind of nice if they had, you know, good stats across the board, but that's not necessary. This guy's ambitious. We do not want to give it to him. Pretty sure we didn't give that to an ambitious guy, did we? No, he's content. That's what we want. Um, 
Chase is not bad because it probably means that he won't have any kids and I'll inherit it myself. Got a lot of ambitious guys. Does that make sense? Ooh, wicked priest. We don't want him. Um, it's a shame that more people don't have good... Uh, all these people are ambitious to have good uh, stewardship. This guy's content, though. He has almost no diplomacy, unfortunately, which means people will not like him very much. I think I'm going to give it to this um, Chase fellow here. He's Norwegian. We're going to grant him... I'm just going to do one at a time over here, I think. So let's grant him Lincoln. So he's got that now. And then... Grant him that one. And last not least, we've got Derby. Not him, not him. These three are ambitious. Uh, this guy has very poor diplomacy, but He's also a marshal. Man, I kind of almost want to give it to this <laughs> this bad priest. So what does that do again? Oh yeah, the church hates him. He's craven. He's diligent though. That's probably why he's got a decent stewardship. Um, Bo would be great except for ambitious, and that's why his stats are good. Um, let's just give it to this marshal. Oops. Derby, that's right. Now we just need to give this, uh, this a wait. We don't have it anymore. I thought we, uh, revoked that. What's, what's my extra ones then? Northumberland. Oh, I have this one. That's weird. Scottish. Oh, yeah, because we're in this mode now. Anglo-Saxon, Norwegian. Well, you, sir, will be this, uh, Jarldom, because he's one of my guys that I've put in power here. He's still got one extra one. Lancaster, okay, who we got over here? Norwegian... Norwegian and Anglo-Saxon, so definitely not him. Um, <laughs> it's weird that he's got a claim on that. I guess he probably, uh, I'm guessing he, you know, he's been, uh, he's been doing his thing. Let's give it to him. That's weird. Why is he getting this one? Oh, because this idiot's got two counties, one in that and one in the other one. Well, damn it. Oh, well. What else could I give it to? What about this guy? Efficient time. Yep, we'll, we'll give it to him. All right, so let's see how our vassal picture looks now. Got a couple still. We got a baron that doesn't like us very much, and we got this guy. Why doesn't he like us? Dishonorable? Yeah, well, can't argue with that. Um, is he related to someone we screwed over? No, doesn't seem like it. He's Anglo-Saxon, though. Oh, man, he's got this little tiny county here. What is that? It's supposed to be part of Lincoln. I don't... Oh, uh, I guess they... It's weird that title doesn't seem to exist. I cannot afford to create it, though. That's the problem. Um... Well, this guy has no titles now, so he can, what's, what does it cost to ransom him? Oh, well, nothing. That's why I can probably do it. Ugh. Look at this guy. He's possessed. This looks pretty rough. So I don't want to, I don't want to let this possessed guy have him. Um, let's see here. Of course, Harold would give us 200, but then it would set him loose. I'd kind of rather him just 
Let's see here. How old is he? 51. His health can't be that high. After all of that. I don't think he joined factions, though, while he's in jail, right? And that's what's preventing that. We still need that one freaking uh, place. What's Scotland up to these days? We're still kind of not back up to full strength. So probably not the best idea to fight them. We're still trying to fabricate this stupid claim. Yep, can't take it yet. Still want distant realm. <laughs> I don't understand that. Still doesn't want to do that. All right, no, no easy counties. I'm try something like this, even though it probably won't work. No. Could start the um. Could start the little uh, thing here where we'll see this guy's Norse Gaelic, so he might um. Uh, the distant realm is always going to do it, but we'll basically start our uh, start some Irish colonies over here um, by finding claimants to all these little counties here. Don't seem to be many though. Yeah, it seems like there's not a whole lot of claimants. We could search. Um, let's get rid of. Um, change this to any culture. I guess probably my culture group. Well, I don't know. Any culture. Let's find. Um, can we find people that have claims? This way, I forgot. This is probably not a very efficient way to do it. But we could start doing it that way where we find, um, like, who has a claim on this. And it looks like most of them don't. Yeah, most of them do not have... Oh, this one has a claimant. Would not accept an invitation to court. So, yeah, that's kind of one thing we could do. But we really need one more territory. And looks like fabricating claims um, is really the only option we've got here. Because for some reason, we can't attack this guy. I'm not really sure why. Um, I guess it's just because of this gray area. We don't count as bordering them. We can't do anything about whales either. It's kind of weird. But in any case, I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.